What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Fishing with Separate video. Now today, we are doing something really fun and exciting. So, I was at Walmart last week and I noticed these sitting in a box in the fishing section. Now I was like, huh, that's interesting. They're tiny. And I was like, oh. So I kept looking, dollar a piece. So one dollar for these lures right here. So I'm pretty excited to try these out. When I first saw them, I was like, that's ridiculous looking. I mean, just, they look cheap. I mean, that's just the way it is. But I'm really excited to use these because the one fish that I thought might bite this is a brook trout. I already got one set up on the ultralight rod. I'm really excited to do this $1 lure Walmart challenge. So let's go ahead, let's get our stuff on, let's get down to the water and see if we can catch a nice brook trout with these tiny $1 lures. All right, let's get to it guys. So it's been a while since I've been to this spot. And as you can see, it is tick heaven through here. I mean, this all has just grown up so fast. It looks like someone has walked down in here. We gotta be super careful because I can barely see the ground where we're walking through. Oh yeah, it's not so bad the further down we get in here, but it looks like someone else was down here. We just need to hope that they didn't take all the trout out of here. My goodness, look at all this crap. It is just loaded with high bushes through here. There we go. Now I can actually walk through here without stumbling. Oh wow. This spot has changed up quite a bit. But look at how clear the water is. Oh man. I'm really excited to try this out. So this one that I have tied on, I used it last time I went fishing just to see how it looked in the water. <clears throat> and it really made me want to try this even more because it looked like a tadpole almost. So I have seen frogs here at this spot before. So I'm pretty sure this is going to work. And who knows? This might be the next best brook trout bait. I mean, it's worth a shot. One dollar. I mean, <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than that. Oh, that looks fantastic through here. I'm super pumped. Oh my God. Oh, did you guys just see that? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? One jumped out of the water for it. Let's see if we can do that again. Come on, something come out of the water for it. What, little one? Oh, you guys are jumping out of the water for it. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no way this is an action-packed episode this is crazy come on something bite it there we go fish on boys fish on let's go let's go on the one dollar hard bait no way it's a small one but still that is the most crazy thing <laughs> no way that is fun not a bad trout I mean, just look at that. On the one dollar hard bait. He gobbled it down good, so let's get the pliers out so we don't tear him to pieces here. There we go. We got that all out of him. Let's get him in the water. Do not tell your friends. <laughs> that is crazy. Just so you guys can get a better look. This is the hard bait we're using right now. One treble hook, very small, green underbelly. And so far, it has just got massive attention here. I was not expecting this. I was expecting it to go a little slow to start out, to be honest with you. But they are loving it. We need to get back out there. I really want one to jump out of the water and annihilate this thing. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, he lost it, he lost it. He came back and bit it again. He came back and bit it again. No way. Oh. <laughs> no way. He came back, almost got hooked up, lost it and came back and hooked up. This one's better than the last one. No way. Did we just, I think we just cracked the code. I did not think this $1 lure would be this good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Honestly, oh boy, this one's 
hooked up pretty good. There we go, we got it out of him. He's not bleeding too bad. Look at that. What a gorgeous brook trout. Nice, we'll get him back in the water. Don't tell your friends either. <laughs> this is crazy. No way. I am super pumped about this right now. I have two other colors in my bag right now. I don't even know how those are gonna do, but at this spot, they are loving this. One came up for it, small one, small one. Only one small one that time. I will say the motion in the water is not that great because of the cheapy bait. Oh my God, this is crazy. I'm gonna move down here a little bit. I'm gonna try going over to the left, just a hair, and see if anything's hiding over there. This is wild. I just used a simple knot on this too. That's also probably why it's not swimming that great, but let's try to get a top water. Oh, this is fun. This is super fun. Oh, this is, this is hilarious too. Oh, I thought for sure something was gonna come for that one. I was certain of it. I wanna get up higher in there. I'm not sure if I saw that right, but I feel like I saw a fish jump over there. I was paying so close attention to what this bait was doing. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no way. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to try to get that in slow-mo. That was hilarious. They are just jumping out of the water for this thing. Oh my God. This is the most wild thing I've ever seen when brook trout fishing. One just took it. Oh, no, no. He left it, he, he kind of missed it. That was a good trout too, that was a really good trout. So one thing I'm noticing for sure is that this bait does better when you work it slow. So if you guys go to your Walmart and you wanna kinda do this same thing, just know if you're gonna reel it in, reel it slow. Oh, 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 I thought he took it. We got bit again, we got bit again. Oh, this is incredible. This is something else. We gotta get a nice trout here, we gotta. It's funny when they jump out of the water for it, they're missing it. I just want them to crush it. All right, well, I'm gonna try something different here. This will also give them a little break because I've been casting this thing in there nonstop. So I'm gonna come over here. I think they're sitting way down deep, right in the middle of this hole. So I'm gonna go right over here and I'm gonna try to bring it right across the middle here, right where it gets deep. Oh yeah, this looks like it'd be really good going from here. Oh my God, he, that one came out of nowhere. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, it was just like, I think that was a small one. That wasn't nothing big. Come on, something's gotta bite it here soon. It's gotta happen. I want this to get down deeper too, but I think I have to work it fast for that. I'm gonna try just jerking it. Yep, oh, he almost had it. I think jerking it is doing something here. Let's, let's try that out. We're gonna try jerking it. Yep, little one. We want a big one though. I think, I think doing that is causing them to really want it more. Another small one. We came up to it, didn't, didn't commit. That is crazy. So I'm gonna try something. We're gonna switch up now. I'm pretty sure I have one with an orange belly, which will work a lot better at this spot considering that brook trout are starting to get orange bellies on them. So I think now switching to that, it'll mimic a small brook trout. So that's what we're gonna tie on. We gotta, it's gonna do the same knot as before. It's seeming to work out for us right now. So I ain't too worried about the action in the water. I think this thing's looks are what are doing the best work out of all of this right now. I think the mosquitoes are starting to come out too. So that's a, that's a yikes. Don't you all just love it? When you go fishing and you just have bugs, mosquitoes trying to fly up your nose and in your ear, it's always pleasant, isn't it? It's always a lot of fun. But boom, there we go, we got that tied on. We're about to catch some fish here now. All right, seems like we had better luck over here standing up in this water. So I'm gonna come back this way. I'm just gonna work it while standing right here. I think this is gonna do better. Orange over green. Oh, oh, we had one come up to it. Another one came up to it, they're missing. I'm just gonna reel it in like normal. 
Okay, so it seems like they like when I'm jerking it like that, but I don't think they're hooking up properly. They're, they're not able to strike it. Oh, oh, oh. One just tried to bite it again. Oh, I really feel like we gotta get down deep here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, oh, we just got hit again. I don't know what is up with their eyesight right now, but they're not able to hook up. They're almost going too fast for their own well-being. You yeah, see, look how it looks in the water. It looks like a tadpole. And when you move it slow, it has a nice motion. I think we just have to go back to moving it slow so that they can kind of manage to hit this. There we go. Oh, no. Dang it. That was a nice fish, too. He was wading up by the fast water, waiting for something to drop down in front of him. Dang. We're gonna move it real slow, real slow. I thought for sure we were gonna get something on that bite. There we go, fish on, boys. There we go. It took us a while, but we finally got a fish on again. Dude, that is weird. Did you see how he was trying to get that out of him? He was like trying to swim down with it. Just a little guy. This is the, I think this is the smallest one. You know what I'm noticing though? I'm noticing that the length on these trout are really good, but not so much on the weight aspect of things. They're kind of really skinny. This one's full of energy. Just a second, little guy. We'll get this out of you. There we go. Finally back on the board again. I think our first two friends are starting to tell them in there that we got a special bait. I have some other spots that I really want to try with this lure too. I am loving the action that this is getting us here today. It is just perfect. Yeah, you got to work these slow. When you work it slow, it looks perfect in the water. Oh, we just got bit again. Oh man. They're getting good. They're getting really good at making sure not to get hooked up now. There we go, fish on boys. Little guy, just a little guy. That hook set was perfect. I think this is about the same size as the last one, maybe a little bit smaller. Oh yeah, he's smaller. It looks like he's hooked in the side of the face almost. He may have not have hit it at all. Uh-oh. We got, we got him kind of in the eye here. That is not good. Oh boy. Oh my God. So we kind of hooked him in the eye and I was able to get it out and save his eye in contact. I don't know how we were able to pull that off, but it kind of like went in his eye socket. Ugh. Sorry, little guy. Didn't mean to hook set you like that. We're gonna get right back out there. We're starting to run out of daylight here, so we gotta make the best of our time that we got left. And hopefully we can catch a really nice trout. I hope that we didn't catch the best trout right at the beginning. I would like to finish off with a bang here. I wonder if I reel it fast, if we would still get something, even though it kind of spins sporadically. It kind of works. I just don't know if there's any fish that are gonna come for it like that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try back over here again. We, we gotta kind of trick them a little bit here. I'm trying to be careful not to get water in my boot because we still have a hole in our boot. I can't stress enough though. I cannot believe that these little $1 hard baits are killing these brook trout the way they are. I cannot believe it. I really recommend that you try this, honestly. It is working really good for me here. We're gonna go all the way across. Yep, there we go. Come on, something's gotta want it. I really hope that we didn't catch all that we could here right now. I'm pretty sure I just saw another trout up in there. Almost certain of it. I know there's more trout in here. We had a small one come for it. It was when we were jerking on the top water. I'm gonna try that again. We're gonna, we're just gonna jerk it the whole way across here. Oh, I thought for sure we were gonna get something right there. Guys, I just saw a really big one come for it. He did not bite it though. That was a really nice trout. Oh my goodness. He came for it with the slow reel. He didn't like the jerking motion. So we're just gonna keep reeling this in slowly. I might even take a little walk down. I just wanna see what kind of devastation was left down here after we had the flood come through. I gotta kinda get it up near the white water again. He was hanging out over on this side. Oh, a little one. 
That was not the one we saw. He didn't hook up though. He might bite again. He wasn't hooked at all. I think he just didn't get it fully in his mouth right. Oh, 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 that was a nice trout. He came out for it too. Didn't commit though, no commitment. Come on, give us a big one here, give us a big one. Come on, come on, come on. They'll come out of nowhere too. The tricky part is I'm wearing a really light blue shirt. Not the best decision of attire to wear when you come brook trout fishing, but oh well, it is what it is. I wonder what would happen if we cast it up in the white water and just let it sit. We're gonna let it sit. We'll see if something comes up for it. We'll give it a reel here and there. I kind of want to do that, but I want to get it right in the middle. Because I think that's where they are. They're in the middle, sitting deep. All right, right there, right there. Give it a little reel here and there, just to give it a little bit of motion. I thought for sure something was gonna come for it right there. Uh-oh. I think we were a little tied up there for a second. Oh my God. We just had a nice one come right up for it. We wouldn't have caught him anyways. Our hook was tied up in our line. Dang. This, this one's being careful. He's being real careful with it. Slow reels here and there. He's gonna bring it real slow. This looks so good in the water. I'm actually really surprised. So that one decent sized fish, he's been biting it. Kind of when I've been bringing it across where it's not so deep actually. Kind of around here. All right, let's try this out. Let's test this theory. Oh my God. Dang. You missed it again. Another little one, another little one came for it. Okay, they're, they're liking it going across the shallow. We're gonna keep trying that out. There we go, fish on boys. <laughs> I knew it. It was all about the shallow. This is a decent trout. We need to get somewhere we can release him. But this is a nice trout. This might be the best one. Nice. Oh yeah, this is a really nice trout. Don't forget when I say nice, I mean nice for the spot where I'm fishing. I'm not talking about in general, because I, I have a lot of people that'll say, that's not a nice trout, that's just a tiny little shrimp. All right, there we go, he came right off. Look at that. Again, not so fatty, but the length is pretty good. Nice. Get him right back out in the water. <laughs> that was a fun little fighter too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love this little lure. This thing's fantastic. Oh, man. I really want to find some more spots just like this where we can just go and keep trying these lures out. Little $1 lures. <laughs> it's so funny when I say it. This is one, one little $1 lures are catching brook trout like it's nothing. This one was a little too much in the shallows. I need to kind of get it right in the mid-range point. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't know if that was that decent sized one that we had. Oh, another little one, another little one. All right, that's the way to go. That is the way to go. These trout are so fast. You literally can't even keep up with them. I'm gonna try up by the white water again. We've given it a little minute now. Nothing. Maybe they do like it just like this. We'll just keep doing what we were doing. See if we can get any more to bite before it uh, starts getting real dark out here. I would really love for one to come back up and try to bite it out again. I would love to get footage of us catching a trout when it jumps out of the water and gets it right on the first try. All right, we've given this a good shot here now. We're gonna come try right at this beachy area again. And if we don't get anything, I might try just to go see what's down here now. Because after a good flooding like that, you don't know what kind of new holes are created. I will right, we'll stand right here. Nothing. Here we go, fish on, boys. Another nice fish, another nice fish. Oh, this is the best one. I think this is the best one. Oh, let's go. I didn't know if we were gonna catch anything else for the rest of the night. Let's go. <laughs> The $1 lure strikes again. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a really nice fish. Oh, that's the best one of the day. <laughs> this would be a keeper if I was gonna keep any trout here today, but I'm not gonna keep anything. Oh my God, nice. 
Just look at that beautiful trout. This is weird. He has a white stomach on him. Usually by now they would start getting that yellowish orange color on him. This guy, ooh, easy little guy. Oh, it looks like he's gonna go sit right here. I might try to just catch him and get him back in the big hole. If he's still in here, that is. Ah, nah, he slipped past us. Dang, I wanted to get him back in the big hole because he was the nicer of the trout. I wanted him to stay in this hole and get bigger, but he came out of our hands. Dang, it's all right. He'll go downstream and he'll find a nice deep hole where he can hang out for the rest of his life. Let's try to see if we can get another nice trout. If we don't catch anything in like the next, I don't know, 10 minutes, then we're gonna call it a day because it's starting to get dark out. And I'm really hoping we can catch something else before the night's over. I should honestly end it on that note, but I can't. I'm just having too much fun with this little mini lure. This is a blast. I do feel like we're gonna get another bite, but I wanna try a different angle here. Yeah, we'll try this out. Nothing on that one. All right, this is gonna be the, ooh. All right, this is gonna be the last cast of the day. It's starting to get a little dark out, so I need to get packed up and need to get on out of here before it gets too dark. There we go. All right, we're gonna pack it up there. Alrighty guys, that's gonna conclude another episode of Fishing with Sepper. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. What a crazy video. A Walmart fishing challenge with a $1 fishing lure. We caught so many fish here, just this one hole. I can't believe it. I'm actually in utter shock that that lure did as good as it did. So. I can't thank you guys enough. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point, even for a second, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. We're getting closer and closer to 300 subs. I usually don't keep track of the milestones so much, but we're growing so fast. And that's all thanks to you guys dropping the likes, dropping the comments, and subscribing to the channel. If you guys made it all the way through to the end of this video, make sure to comment down below so I know that you guys watched the whole entire thing. But this is Fishing with Sepper. We'll catch you guys next Sunday. All right, see you later, guys.